Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video, we're going to be solving for a complex number. So we have Z minus I equals Z over I. And we're gonna be solving for Z. In case you forgot, I is the number whose square equals negative one. In other words, I squared equals negative one. Okay, I'll be presenting three methods and let's start with the first one. Actually, I want to start, change my mind, I want to start with the third one, because it's more fun. Okay, so for my third method, I'm going to replace z with a plus bi. Why? Because z is a complex number. So let's do it. a plus bi minus i equals a plus bi divided by i. You can either split this into two pieces or multiply by i. I'm going to go ahead and split it up, a over i plus b, and then we can arrange the imaginary parts here. On the right hand side, if you multiply the top and the bottom by i, some people also multiply by negative i, we get an ai here divided by negative 1. i squared is negative 1, remember? So that's going to give us negative ai. But if you write the b first, that's going to be b minus ai. Make sense? So ai divided by i squared becomes negative ai. Okay. Not artificial intelligence. It's just the imaginary part. Okay. Now we have the equality of two complex numbers. And that means the real parts are equal. First, a equals b. And the imaginary parts are equal. So b minus a must equal negative a. b minus 1. I mean b minus 1 equals negative a. You know, there's a couple different ways to solve it. Probably the easiest one is to sub substitute, replace b with a. We get a minus 1 equals negative a, and switch these numbers to a equals 1, a equals 1 half. Since a and b are equal, then b also equals 1 half. And remember, our number z could be written as a plus bi, so z can be written as 1 half plus 1 half i. And that will be the only solution to this equation. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the first method now. Since we're done with the third, we can do first and second. First method. What is the original problem? z minus i equals z divided by i. Remember, we've done a similar problem, right? That was z plus i and z i. This is kind of like the opposite version, like plus minus times divided by. So the first method basically relies upon factoring. Let's put uh, z over i here and put the i on the right hand side and then factor out the z. You could also make a common denominator and then factor out, same thing. And this gives us 1 minus 1 over i equals i. And then to find z, basically, you need to divide both sides by 1 minus 1 over i. So again, there's a couple different ways to proceed here, but I, I guess we could multiply the top and the bottom by i. So we can get i squared. Oops, I overdid it. Just multiply by a single i. And now the numerator is going to be i squared. And when you distribute the i, it's going to be i minus 1, because these two are going to cancel out. Okay? i squared is negative 1, so z is negative 1 over i minus 1. But I want to negate both the top and the bottom and write this as 1 over 1 minus i. And now we can multiply by the conjugate. And that gives us 1 plus i divided by. Now remember, when you multiply two conjugates, you always get a real number, and it's in the form of sum of two squares. Not difference of two squares, but sum of two squares. So what happens when you multiply a plus bi and a minus bi? You get a squared plus b squared. So a squared plus b squared actually can be factored in the complex world. So let's go ahead and multiply these together, and that's going to give us 2. So z is, that's the answer. But we got something different, right? Well, not necessarily. If you go ahead and split it up into real part and imaginary part, you'll get the exact same thing. It's just written in a different form. Okay? 
And this brings us, not to the end of this video, to the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and do the second method and then we'll be done. All right, second method is kind of cross multiplying. So we have z minus i is z over i. Why not cross multiply? zi minus i squared equals z. i squared is negative 1. Remember, I've been telling you, like, I keep telling you, i squared is always negative 1, but negative i squared is positive 1. So this is zi plus 1 equals z. And I'll subtract zi from both sides. 1 equals z minus zi. And then factor out the z. 1 minus i. And then divide by 1 minus i. And you'll get the answer. But let's go ahead and rationalize. I mean, not rationalize. Realize. Okay, multiply by the conjugate, whatever that's called, to get rid of the expression at the bottom. And when you distribute, you're going to get 1 plus i divided by 2 again. This is going to be z. And if you write it in standard form, you'll get the exact same thing. Of course, you should always, always get the same thing, right? And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.